To connect my R1 to my Android device for use in Collector, I will first open Bluetooth on my device, choose to pair a new device, this should search for and find any Bluetooth devices in my area, and one of them should be the R1, which will show GNSS with the serial number. I tap on it to pair it, allow it to pair, and then it should show up in my list of paired devices. Now I'm done with that, I can close the Bluetooth settings and open GNSS Status, which is a free app available from the Play Store. This will open an attempt to connect to my internal location services. I will tap the menu button in the upper left and then tap on Source so that it can choose the R1. First I have to tell it I want to connect to a Bluetooth device and it should show up in my list of available Bluetooth devices. I tap on it, select it, and then it will attempt to connect to the R1. Now I want to also set up real time so I'll tap Settings again and then I'll tap on Corrections. This will allow me to set up SBAS as the primary correction source, which is ideal for the R1 in most situations and will get me the best accuracy in Collector. Now I'm finished there, I can open up Collector, and once in there I'll tap the menu button in Collector. From there I'll go to Settings. Once in the Settings page, I'll be able to tap on Location Provider, and that's where I can set the R1. Now I can choose to add a receiver, and it should show up in my list of available receivers. I can see the R1 listed there. I'll tap on it, and then set the antenna height, which will be about how high I'm holding the antenna, in my case about a meter off the ground. Now it shows up as a receiver that I can choose. I tap on it to put the check mark next to it, and then I'm ready to go into a map. So I'll open up a map and I should be able to see my location on the screen because I have the R1 outside with a good view of the sky. I can tap on the location icon in the lower left and that will allow me to see information about the receiver that I'm connected to. It shows the Trimble GNSS with the serial number of my R1. It shows that it's getting differential GPS through SBAS and what my estimated accuracy is. It's under a meter, so I'm ready to begin collecting data.